Hello, good morning. Welcome to SAP Center. We are live from the tank. As you can see behind me, the Barracuda are undertaking morning skate here as they welcome in the San Diego goals for the first of 10 meetings this season. It'll mark the first of three over the month of December. San Jose and San Diego has not have not met up this season. This will, as we mentioned, will be the first of 10 meetings. San Jose last year against the Anaheim Ducks affiliate. They were 4-3-1 and one and went 2-1-1 one and one here at SAP. So the all-time record against the goals, San Jose 13, 12, 3, and 2 over the first three years of the AHL's Pacific Division. San Jose enters tonight's game riding a four-game home winning streak. San Jose this year on home ice. They are 6-1-0 and 1. That is the best winning percentage on home ice in the American Hockey League at 813. Meanwhile, San Diego is coming off a 2-1 win at home against Manitoba. They sit at the bottom of the AHL's Pacific Division and have the worst road record in the Pacific at just a 2-3 mark, but are coming off a win in their most recent road outing in Stockton. So they have come off a, a win at the Stockton Heat. That was back on November 23rd, a 6-3 victory. Let's look at the standings in the Western Conference as San Jose is tops in all the American League. We'll take a look here at the graphic on the screen. Atop the entire American League with that 750 winning percentage. The Barracuda are 12, 3, 1, and 2, and are riding a four game point streak, rather a five game point streak entering tonight. They have won four straight on home ice. You see San Diego at the bottom of the Pacific. They're just 8, 7, 1, and 1 at a 529 winning percentage and just a 2 and 3 mark away from Valley View Casino Center. San Jose will be down in Southern California on December 15th. That'll be their first visit down to the Valley View Casino Center. As we're, uh, we're making sure we don't get smoked by some pucks as Jeremy Waugh is firing some shots around the glass and we're in a bit of a peculiar position. But uh, San Jose comes in tonight tops in the Western Conference in the entire AHL and they welcome in the San Diego goals for the first time this season. We, talk, we talked to uh, Barracuda for Matt Fontaine um, after practice yesterday as his team gears up for the San Diego goals here tonight and what he expects from San Diego and also what's working and what was successful in that victory against Stockton on Saturday as San Jose came out of Stockton with a 6-3 to three win, their second straight against the Stockton Heat. Here's Matt Fontaine. Yeah, I think uh, it just hitting the reset button after a win. You uh, watch the video and check what we did good and what we need to work on moving into next game. So um, I think coming into San Diego, they're, they're a skilled, fast team, and they like to uh, make things happen off the rush. So we just need to make sure we're tracking and getting back and not making turnovers at the wrong times. They, they put you on a line with, uh, you know, you run with BL and, and Weiger last night, change it up. You know, it seems like every other game you guys are it, they're changing the combos a bit. Um, how do you adjust your game as, you, as you're on with different line mates, and how do you feel like you guys gelled in your first game together? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, whenever you're with a new line mate or a new uh, line combination, you just need to uh, get talking early, make it easy for everybody. Um, when everybody's talking, you kind of play off each other. Um, and then playing with those two guys, we had a couple couple games together at the rookie tournament, and I thought we gelled pretty well together. So um, it's great playing with those two guys. They're really fast, skilled guys, and it's fun to play with. Tomorrow, you got a San Diego team that maybe not the start they hope for. Um, in the past, they've been a pretty heavy. You know, team is more so their MO than, than anything. Is the coach staff giving you guys any pointers on what, what you should expect, or is it more so just go out there and kind of find out as the game goes on? Yeah, I think uh, whenever you're playing a new team, you always kind of have to adjust on the fly. But um, from what the coaches staff has told us, they're they're a fast team, like I said, and they, they like to make plays off the rush. So I think just limiting our turnovers and making sure we make the right plays at the right time is going to be key. So welcome back to SAP Center. We're joined by Barracuda defenseman Keaton Middleton. You're 6'5 without skates on, so you got skates on. You're towering over me right now, but yeah, it's been sorry, <laughs> it's, it's okay. We'll put the ego aside. It's been a pretty good start for your team. Obviously, you guys sit atop the you know the American League with the the best winning percentage. You're coming off a good road victory against the Stockton Heat. You know what's working as a defensive group. You've been with Nick D. Simone for most of the year. They changed it up a bit last game, but you know what's working 
from a defensive group as, as a whole? You know, what's, how have you guys been so successful so far? Uh, I think it helps. Like when we when we're playing good defensively, it's when we it's not just our decor. It's from the goalies right up to the forwards, working as a unit of five, coming back and uh, breaking pucks out quick. So if we can continue to do that and continue to grow to that, I think it's uh, that's one of the keys for our success. You had an opportunity potentially to go back to junior. You still had a year of eligibility, but the. Sharks organization obviously liked your game. Your brother has proven it here with the organization over the last couple of years. So how has that transition been coming from the junior ranks to the pro level? Uh, no, it's a little different, but it's good. I, I enjoy it. It's uh, I like the pro mentality of going into every game. Like it's uh, like you got something to prove because you, you don't want to go down you don't, and you want to go up, right? And everyone's fighting for a spot and it's good. It's, it's, it's intense, so it's good. I like it. You guys welcome in a San Diego team. They are at the bottom of the Pacific, but you look at the lineup and there's a lot of guys with NHL experience. There's a lot of prideful guys in that group. They've had injuries up top and that's taken away from some of the, you know, a bit of the lineup. San Diego has been a really good team in this division over the first three years. Have the coaches kind of given you an idea, you know, what they are and you know, what do you expect from them tonight? Uh, yeah, definitely looking at their lineup. They're not a bottom of the division. They're a good team. They have, they have good players. It's uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game. It's nice that we haven't really seen them before too. That, like it's it's almost fresh, you know. It keeps things fresh in the room, and then when you're going out there, it's it's gonna be fun to see where the pace dictates and like uh, and see how the game goes. Yeah, it's, it, just because of scheduling, you guys haven't played these guys. You know, played a lot of other teams like the Stockton quite a bit. So you'll get San Diego three times over the month of December. December you'll be familiar with them at the end of the month. You guys have had some really good starts over this, you know, to start the year and over this stretch, this five-game point streak. So how do you guys get that quick start that you're looking for here tonight? Oh, it's, it's definitely, like I said before, if we work as a unit of five on the ice, not just different groups, if, we, uh, if all five guys are going back for pucks, Going in on pucks, we're checking together. It's, uh, I think we'll have some success. Keith, we appreciate the time. That's Barracuda defenseman Keaton Middleton. We're going to take a look now at the highlights from Saturday night as we'll throw it to those highlights out in Stockton, that 6-3 win for San Jose. And her true from Perron, and he put it just wide. Hell, a backhander by Fitzgerald. Puck is loose, trickles through, they score. San Jose strikes just a minute and 26 seconds into the hockey game. Who's going to get credit for the goal? There was a scramble. Perron, True, and Martin are the forwards on the ice. Fitzgerald and Wah were the defenders. And it looks like everybody's kind of pointing at each other. I don't think even the players know who exactly scored as that puck was just worse. True scored two times in this building in game number 68 last year, the final regular season game to get San Jose in to the postseason. Other, another opportunity. This time it's Vidier. He scores. Manny Vidier wide open on the near side. Scheider couldn't get over in time and he had an open net and he jammed it past the goal line. And San Jose leads 2-0 here. We're just two minutes and fifth. So San Jose will have an offensive zone try here on the near circle. Barracuda back in action Monday night against the San Diego Goals. There's a shot from the point tipped in. They score. It's the captain, John McCarthy, makes it 3 0 San Jose. Out of their zone, that's center in front. Puck is loose. Wanger upended. VL turns, swivels one. He scores. A scramble in front and a heady play by the rookie forward, Jeffrey VL. Realizing a loose puck with a goaltender out of position with no hesitation. He's his helicopter towards the net and it's into the back of the net. San Jose back up by three. Now, John Martin left side. Martin's wrister from atop the left circle. That is just wide. Now, Kyle Wood from the right side. He'll just. Jam one back below the end line. True centers. There's a shot. They score. Jaden Hobgawax has given San Jose a four goal lead. So, welcome back to San Jose. Obviously, uh, Rourke Shardy would add an empty netter in that game as well for the uh, six to three win for San Jose. So the Barracuda, they welcome in the San Diego goals here. First of 10 meetings on the season. We mentioned San Jose has the best winning percentage on home ice in the AHL, while San Diego is at the bottom in terms of road winning percentage with just a two and three mark. Another big parallel between these two clubs, San Jose is the most disciplined team in the AHL. There's 199 combined penalty minutes. Meanwhile, San Diego, they're 333 PIMS. That's the most in the American League. So you got two teams who are on the complete opposite spectrums in terms of taking penalties this season. We saw the uh, win for San Jose. We mentioned it. They are riding a five-game point streak, four straight wins 
here on home ice. We would like to remind fans you can go to sjbarracuda.com slash tickets or head on down to the Threat Metrics ticket office here tonight and pick up tickets for the 7 o'clock puck drop. If you have four more in your car, of course, it's free parking here in the main lot behind us at SAP Center and also all concessions are four dollars that is a theme throughout the 2018-19 season after tonight san jose will hit the road on saturday they'll take on the bakersfield condors before returning back home on sunday and it's game two of our five part specialty uh, series honoring all the affiliates of, in sharks history it's our only ihl affiliate as the barracuda will rebrand into the kansas city blades on sunday wearing blades jerseys that you can bid on during the game and take one of those team issue jerseys home. So we've got a big game coming up Sunday after tonight here, so you don't want to miss that. You can go to sjbarracuda.com slash promotions to find out the entire promotional schedule. But if you want to be a part of this history and the return of the Kansas City Blades, you do not want to miss Sunday's game. We'll have Tom Peterson, who was a former Shark, spent time in Kansas City. We'll also have Mike Aldrich, the equipment manager for the San Jose Sharks, who's been around forever. He also spent a bit of time in Kansas City as well. We'll say so long. We're about to wrap this one up for our pregame skate. We do want to remind you we have broadcast coverage on KDOW starting at 7 o'clock tonight. You can also listen on the Sharks plus SAP Center app at sjbarracuda.com slash listen and on AHL TV.